Hi friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to delete multiple files having similar pattern in a folder using file system task. So first of all I will show what is multiple pattern and what are those files I will show you so that you can get you can get clarity. So this is my path. D, D drive files and test folder. The, in this folder I have few files are there, folders and files are there, there are three folders and one Excel sheet and one CSV and uh, remaining four are text documents. So among these, having similar pattern in that sense, a, a name and extension should be the same. So here I have person, person1 and person2 text document in there. I want to delete these three files where we have name and extension of the same so by using file system task i have to delete these two uh, these three files having similar pattern so there are some uh, uh, real time scenarios as well when being an exercise developer you need to load the files from a particular folder those those you are getting from the client or from third party vendor so at the time the the files number of files and the names of the files and extension of these files are also same. So at the time what the organization will do is that they are developing one package. Once after loading these files, they are deleted these files from that particular folder. So in such scenario, this package helps to to delete. Uh, at frequent intervals how to delete these files once again i'm repeating file similar file pattern means both name and extension should be the same person here person person one and person two so person is the common for all these files in name and extension extension in this what type of files are those dot csv dot txt dot xl xx so the, these are these files are I am which I am going to delete are dot txt files. First of all, I am dragging. Once you want to load the many files, you have to use the for each loop container. So in this deletion also, you have to use the for each loop container as well. So first I am dragging the for each loop container inside the control pane, and then for that you have to create four variables. So I am creating here four variables. First one is source path. Source path whose data type is string. So I am going to take this path, entire path. In this path, our our files are located. So second one I am using here is file name. File name take this string as well. And I haven't filled uh, I am leaving this value column as it is with, with the empty column. And third one is file pattern. file pattern here I am taking a string data type so I want to mention the pattern of this file so I already showed this is person every file start with the name of, name of the file start with the person person star dot txt that means those file, txt files starts with the person all these files comes under this file pattern and the fourth one is full file path full file path so this is the combination of source path and file name for that I am taking writing one expression one expression source path 
plus file name. So if you evaluate it, you need to change this string type to string and then you write a expression. Source path plus file name and click on I created four variables. Now I want to configure how to configure this for each file container for each loop file container. Double click to configure. So in collection part, you have to take for each file enumerator. For each file enumerator. And coming to expression, you need to write expression for two properties. One is for directory and second one is file spec. So directory in the sense the every time for each loop container as iterate the files from particular source path. For that we need to uh, um, write expression for <coughs> dynamically you need to uh, uh, write expression to iterate the files from the source path. Taking this uh, directory property with source path. Then second expression what I need to write here is file spec. So in this file spec we already mentioned that person dot txt file spec is there. So for that I am taking the expression and dragging the file pattern file pattern and evaluate it. This is my file spec. So after writing two expressions, click OK and go to variable mappings and select the file name here and go to collection once, once again. Here you need to browse your path. I am taking, I am browsing the path. So in D drive files, in D drive files, test folder d drive files test these files are located so i am just clicking the ok and here the name in the files part mention your the um, your specific pattern that is person star person star dot txt this is the um, pattern. So I am selecting the retrieve the file name name and extension because this is the name and extension txt. That's why I am selecting name and extension here. So configuration is done for, for each loop container and just click OK. Now you need to drag the file system task inside for each loop container. So file system task you know it is it is uh, it is dealing with many operations related to files and folders. So in this case, I am using this file system task for deletion purpose. Deleting files. So to configure, just double click. So here, there are, you have to select the operation which is relevant to your requirement. So here I, I am selecting the operation, I am selecting uh, delete file, after that is source path variable, yes we have one way variable called full file path, you need to take that variable, that is full file path is the combination of source path and file name. So this is the uh, configuration for file system task. Just click OK. So once you click the OK button, then you need to change the delay validation as well. Delay validation for file system task. True. So configuration is done for the package. Now if you run the package, whatever the files that are there in the path, all these files are deleted. So I am going to run the package now. here package runs successfully now go and check your folder 
So in the same folder, D files test, we don't find any person txt files, person pattern files having txt extension. So this is how you need to do. Once again, I am repeating the steps. First, you create the variables, file name, file pattern. You have to mention the whatever cheat the file first. Suppose if you have CSV file, just mention .csv. So full file path, this is the path you need to apply at the time of the file system task. This is the combination of source path and file name, write expression for that. And the source path, you have to mention the expression in directory. And file pattern also you need to mention in file spec <coughs> for property you have to write the expression for the uh, file pattern. So after creating four variables, drag your for each row container and, and uh, configure and select the for each file enumerator. And after that you have to write two expressions accordingly, one for spec and one for directory. In variable mappings, you have to map variables for file name. And in collection, you have to browse the file where you are located folder. And the fi in files, you have to mention your spe specific pattern. And click the radio button for a name and extension. Here, we need to mention your file name and as well as the extension. That's why I'm taking name and extension. And after that, deleting the file. For deleting the files, drag the file system task editor and change the operation as per delete file. Is source path variable? Yes, it is true. Now, source variable you have to select and run the packet. Before that, you need to change the validation for file system task to true. So, what is the advantage of this package? Is we, we need not write any uh, script task code, not even single line code for generating this package. for developing this package. So in script task, it is also, by using script task also, you can delete the file. So by using, in file class, there is a delete method is there. By using the delete method, you have to mention the path where these files are located, all these things in script task. But in this case, you need not write any code related to script task, C sharp code, VB code to for deleting these files. So it helps without writing any code and deleting the similar pattern of files from your particular folder. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.